Hello, my name is Dozier Mills from Stromquist & Company, and I'm here today to show you our VMA bushing. This part was designed to replace the brittle plastic bushing in the older Metasys VMA controllers. The aluminum VMA bushing is machined to exact specifications to allow the proper amount of give during everyday operations. Saving money and time, no need to program a different controller, no need to replace the actual attached actuator to keep the feedback functionality. Tools that you will need will be a T10 screwdriver and a Phillips screwdriver. Gonna be the first thing is to replace this top part. Uh, this is where the wire is gonna be hooked to and you're gonna be seeing a video that will show you how to do all this. Okay, in this video, the first thing is this one screw, it's a Phillips screw. Remove the screw. We already have it partially out to uh, help speed up this video. Okay, ever so gently take the top half off, lay it off to the side. And this is the wire that attaches to the motor. Undo that wire very gently. This is the connector. It only goes in one way. Okay, we're going to pull this off to the side, and we have a T10 torque head and you have three torque head screws to replace. Okay, this is the VMA bushing that we will provide you from Stromquist and Company. We have a actuator here to show you. This one has a bad bushing in it. And how you'll know is when you take the cover off and open it up, things will suddenly fall out. Over time, it, it will deteriorate, so this is why we have developed this VMA bushing for you to help repair this actuator, saving you money and time. Like I said, no need to reprogram another uh, different controller. All you got to do is pull out the uh, bad pieces, and then we will provide you with a new VMA bushing. Okay, once you get the bushing, make sure to slot it in. There's, that's the end that hooks to the motor. The slotted end is what's going to go down. So you just very nicely put that in. It'll drop right in. Okay, and you can always check it by spinning the gear a little bit to make sure that it, it is attached. Always check. Make sure all the broken pieces are all out. Okay, I'm double checking that make sure everything looks good. Once everything looks good, you're in good shape. You're ready to put the top back on. Okay. Move my pieces out of the way. Okay, and we put the top back on, and here's a little trick. Don't force it, just spin this motor a little bit, and kind of wiggle it. Okay, wiggle a little bit as you're pushing down, and then she'll lock down. Once she's down, you'll see that she's flush at the bottom, and that's how you know. Okay, spin that screw a little bit. And when you spin in that, it actually spins this gear, which actually opens or closes your damper. You're in good shape now. So all you gotta do is put your screws back in, and everything is good. Okay, I'll go over a quick review here. This is what it looks like. Make sure your gear's in there nice and flush. Okay, everything looks good. Put your screws back in. You'll be back in business. This is the VMA bushing from Stromquist and Company. We hope you enjoy this video. Come visit us at stromquest.com and also go to controltrends.com. Thank you and you have a great day from Stromquist and Company. Bye-bye.